Hello guys, today we'll dive in the extents keyword. It's uh, an alternative to using YAML anchors and uh, it's a little more flexible and readable. So when is it useful? It is useful when you want to be dry and keep your setup cleanly. Let's assume that you want to build a Docker image and give developers possibility to deploy the image on dev, staging and prod environments. We are going to do that without the extent keyword and after that we will think how we can do it better. Here is the first example. The pipeline consists of two stages, build and deploy. We build the image only once and then we want to use that image on each environment. And as you can see, all deployment jobs looks almost the same. There is only a difference in the name of the environment. So knowing where are the differences, we can start working. We are going to create hidden job. It won't show up in the pipeline, but we can use it and inherit from this guy. Well, let's do that. I'm going to just copy the, the code from the first job and I want to change the name of the job. This period here tells the GitLab to treat this job as a hidden as a hidden job. And now we are going to inherit from from this job we don't need this code because this code will be inherited also with this also this section is uh, uh, is duplicated so we can remove it and now we have to provide information from which job we want to inherit. So it's time for, for the uh, for this keyword. And we need to do that with uh, with the other jobs. As you can see, many lines have been deleted but the logic is still the same. So let's commit our changes and see what will happen. So great, our pipeline works. We have one build job and three deployment jobs for each environment. It's time for another example. We want to run something after each deployment and we can use the after script keyword for it. But additionally, we don't want to run this script on dev environment. So let's go to edit the file. Okay, so how can we do that? We could add after script to each of of uh, of these jobs but then what's the point of using extends keyword it's a much better option is to add after script section to this job and add some logic to prevent execution on dev environment We can use this uh, variable, the value of this uh, env environment uh, variable is the name of, of the environment. So adding this simple if, uh, we can prevent the execution of, of this code on dev environment. 
So let's commit our changes and see if this uh, solution works. Let's refresh the page. Okay, so you can run uh, manual jobs. Let's say that we want to deploy on dev and prod. Let's see what happened. Uh, we are going to see the logs of dev uh, job. And we see that the script didn't echo anything. And let's see to the prod job. And we see that the if works. It printed the name of the environment. The accents keyword is able to merge hashes but not arrays. So sections like variables or image will be merged, but sections like script or tags uh, cannot be merged because their arrays. And that's it. As you can see with this keyword, your YAML files can be much smaller. Thank you for watching and see you next time.